Uh, first, uh, the three things are also you know uh, ar arising you know from you know some of uh, my empirical work you know in China. Uh, as I just mentioned, okay, in, in China I conducted uh, you know many you know field work in two areas. Okay, the first area is about the rural China. Okay. Uh, or that I, I lived in Shanghai. I was based. Uh, I'm based in Shanghai, but uh, you know, some of my field work uh, actually in Western China. Okay? I just uh, you know uh, talked with Chris. Okay, uh, he asked me, you know, uh, where where do you you know do your field work? Uh, I, I I answered that I only do field work in China. Why? Because China is so large. Okay, in China <laughs> we we can observe so many societies. Okay, so politically we can only have one China. Okay? <laughs> but in the social level, okay, society, in the societal level, actually, we we can observe you know, many Chinas, okay. So so that's very important. So so in China, when I do the ICT studies, I actually you know uh, uh, examine very carefully about the different you know societal levels. Okay. So uh, for example, in the Western China, you know, it is quite you know uh, largely different from the you know Eastern China, okay, yeah, like Shanghai. Okay. So so I think it's very important you know to distinguish you know, different societies, okay, even. Even in you know one society, right? even in one society, uh, the second point is that uh, even in one society, we should uh, you know uh, be very careful about the different social groups, right? So uh, we are talking about the inclusion in the Latin society, but I think you know the Latin society is not the whole society, right? The whole Latin society, we could find okay different you know uh, segmentations about the different uh, Latin societies, right? or maybe we can call the Latin communities, okay? So, uh, for example, uh, uh, one of my you know, empirical studies is about the migrant workers. Okay? So, migrant workers in China is uh, very large, you know, marginalized people. Okay? Uh, they are around you know one point two million billion. Okay, so uh, uh, migrant workers in China. Okay, so th this this uh, group is very large. Okay, so in this group we can observe different you know uh, digital okay, device. Okay, in, in, in even even in this group. Okay, so we we can observe the gender. Uh, divide. We can also you know, observe the rural and urban okay, divides. Okay, uh, but in a lot of my you know, empirical you know uh, uh, subjects, I uh, I mean the rural people. Okay? Even even in the Western you know Chinese people, we can also observe the gender divides. Okay? So so I think it's very important to uh, distinguish different social groups. Okay? Uh, another very important uh, uh, I think a digital divide, uh, uh, for example, in China is a uh, regional difference. Right. So the northern China and the southern China, the western China and the eastern China, for example, uh, in Beijing or in Shanghai or right, in the metropolitan, the penetration of the internet uh, is about you know eighty percent. I think the penetration rate is very similar as you know the uh, that in the for example in the northern uh, Europe right, or in the North America. Right. But in some of the western uh, uh, western uh, uh, southern uh, China provinces, like uh, you know the Guizhou or in you know Hunan, okay, uh, they are only you know about you know uh, seventeen uh, percent of the internet users. Okay. So so I think it's, it's very important you know to uh, uh, examine carefully about uh, the what the uh, specific social groups are using uh, ICTs, okay. and uh, even uh, in the uh, some specific social groups. Such as uh, migrant workers, we should uh, observe very carefully about the uh, separate groups okay, in, in this group. Okay. For example, the, the female migrant workers and the male uh, migrant workers and the older, the older you know, migrant workers and the younger uh, migrant workers. Okay. In my you know, field work uh, in China, uh, the young uh, migrant workers is quite different from the you know, uh, older migrant workers. Okay. For the young people. Uh, I mean the, the migrant workers under 30 years old. Okay, the uh, internet penetration uh, is about uh, also 75 percent. 75 percent of the young migrant workers they use the ICTs. I mean use the internet and the smartphones. Uh, I mean the, the the group in Shanghai. But for for their parents, okay, the the one gener the first generation of the migrant workers, the internet penetration rate only you know 30 percent. Uh, in, in Shanghai. Okay. So this is uh, my first point. Okay. Uh, the, my second point is about that we should uh, uh, focus on the you know uh, actual needs of the you know social groups. Okay. So uh, what do we mean uh, by the inclusion? I think the inclusion uh, does not just mean the get access to the you know uh, ICTs. Okay. Uh, for me, you know, uh, uh, when I do the you know, field work in Shanghai, I found some of the migrant workers. They use the internet about uh, you know eight hours one day, okay? and uh, they spend a lot of money on their mobile phones. Okay? 
for example, I interview a migrant worker in Shanghai. Okay, the uh, the monthly income for him is about is about you know, sixteen hundred U.S. dollars, but he spent two hundred dollars on her, his mobile phone. Uh, he he bought the virtual you know uh, instruments. He bought the virtual weapons like the guns, the virtual guns. Okay. Uh, in his QQ, okay? he feel you know very honorable about you know the winner you know in the QQ world, <laughs> but uh, but he he don't spend any time you know for you know uh, training or okay? self training or for the job hunting okay such and such okay, so so I think you know can we you know uh, uh, you know uh, 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 reveal that can we say that this migrant worker is uh, included in the network of society. Even even he you know, spent so much time okay uh, uh, online on on his mobile phone, but I I think you know it's not uh, what we mean the inclusion in the letter of a society. Okay? So I think you know for the uh, in, uh, uh, inclusion in letter of society, we should we should you know inc encourage you know the, the different social groups, especially the marginalized people, okay, to make use of the ICTs okay, to serve their actual needs. Okay. Or there, you know, uh, to help them to resolve their social problems, okay, to survive uh, in this world. Okay. So I think the, the we should, you know, uh, uh, focus on the needs. Okay. For needs that uh, I, I think, you know, the needs is quite, uh, you know, different from the, you know, uh, wants. Okay. Uh, uh, in the you know, conceptual level. Okay. For wants, uh, we mean that you know people maybe you know uh, encouraged or you know uh, uh, stimulated by the advertising. Or by the consum uh, cons consumption consumer, you know, uh, culture. Okay, so people will spend a lot of money okay, to buy the virtual weapons, okay? like uh, you know the, the migrant worker, you know, uh, in my you know, interview. Okay, so uh, by needs, I think you know we should emphasize that the, the needs are those very basic you know resources or very fun funda uh, fundamental okay, problem resolving demands okay, to help. The ordinary people, okay, especially the marginalized groups, to survive in the living world, okay, such as the job seeking, the housing, the education, the health care, and the social network. Okay. So I, I think these kinds of the uh, very basic, you know, the social needs are very important to, uh, for us to, you know, make sense of the inclusion uh, in the networking uh, uh, network society. Okay. So, so we we shouldn't, you know, encourage or we shouldn't, uh, you know. Uh, to be satisfied about the situation that uh, you know the uh, internet uh, penetration rate is higher and higher, okay, uh, su uh, such as uh, the young migrant workers in China, the uh, you know ICT penetration rate is, is so high, but we, we should say that they are still you know far from the, uh, the network society. Okay? So uh, this is my second point. Okay? So uh, my last point uh, is also uh, I think related to the society. Okay? So. Uh, Today we talk about the inclusion in the latter of society, but I think you know the, some of the problems are not uh, are not related uh, you know only to the latter of society, are actually related to the society itself. Okay? So some of the marginalized people okay, are actually excluded not only by the latter of society, but by the whole society. Okay? So uh, for example, uh, also still in my you know, uh, uh, interviews, okay, the, ma the migrant workers, okay, they talk about the education issue, okay, the healthcare issue, all th all those of the social problems are lots of uh, new problems, you know, arisen from the of society, but uh, from the traditional society. Okay. So um, another point, uh, I, I think you know, we talk about uh, the, the digital media, but we we shouldn't you know forget the traditional media. Okay. So for example, in China, okay. Uh, we have so large, you know, migrant workers. We have the 1.2, you know, billion migrant workers, accounting for the 10 percent of the whole Chinese population. But uh, when I uh, do the content analysis about the major Chinese newspapers, we can only found, you know, 1 percent of all the reports are concerning about the migrant workers. Right? So this kind of group are actually excluded by the society, by the traditional media. Okay, so not only by the network of society, by the digital media. Okay. So, so we should you know, uh, think about this question you know, also related to the traditional media uh, to combine okay, the traditional media and the new media, uh, the society and the uh, network of society. Okay. So for example, now uh, in Shanghai, I also do some action study. I uh, collaborate with some you know, uh, newspapers in Shanghai. I encourage the newspapers to open some columns, some pages, uh, to uh, permit, allow the migrant workers to uh, post 
the microblogs on the newspapers. I think uh, it, it's really a good way, you know, for the general public uh, pop, uh, population, okay, to to understand these marginalized people. Even they, oh, <laughs> I just uh, last uh, uh, sent a word, okay. So so even they they uh, they don't you know uh, meet or understand the migrant workers face to face, but they can read the post from the newspapers. So I, I think that that's also a, a, a important question, you know, when we you will know, talk about the inclusion in the network society. Thank you so much. Thank you.